Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. Lebanon and Norway have signed a three-year agreement under which Oslo would support the Lebanese government's efforts to develop its infant oil and gas sector. A Lebanese foreign ministry statement said the agreement was signed between Foreign Minister Gibran Basil, which is the energy minister in Lebanon, and Arthur Nazarian and Norway's Foreign Minister State Secretary Bart Peterson. The signing uh, ushered in the second phase of the Oil for Development project, under which Norway will offer technical support to the Lebanese Petroleum Administration and pertinent ministries including the Energy, Environment and Finance Ministries. Royal Dutch Shell has signed a deal with Iraq worth 11 billion US dollars to build a petrochemicals plant in the southern oil hub of Basra. Industry Minister Nasser al Asawi told a press conference in Baghdad the Nibras complex, which is expected uh, to come online within five to six years, would make Iraq the largest petrochemical producer in the Middle East. The factory's expected output was not immediately clear. And retail sales across the Gulf region are forecast to grow annually by more than 7% to 2018, reaching a total of 284.5 billion US dollars. According to a report published by Alpen Capital, food retail sales growth is anticipated to outperform the non-food retail sales due to the higher demand for healthier and high-value food in the region. It said sales in supermarkets and hypermarket, hypermarkets in the GCC are expected to reach 59.3 billion US dollars, translating into a five year compound annual growth rate of 9.2%, driven by increasing disposable incomes and uh, modernization of the industry. A Qatari led consortium looked set to, twin, to win its long running battle to buy Songbird Estates after the owners of London's Canary Wharf business district dropped its opposition to the 4 billion US dollar offer. Songbird said it still thought the price undervalued the estate, but with no rival bid forthcoming and holders of 86% of the shares back in the deal, it said its minority investors should accept. And finally, let's have a quick look at the stock market. Gulf markets rose in earlier trade after several banks reported positive fourth quarter earnings or dividend plans and Brent oil, although weaker, held near 49 per baller. Abu Dhabi's benchmark was down 0.3%, Dubai's index edged up 0.4 as heavyweights Imar Properties and Dubai Islamic Bank rose 0.9 and 0.8% respectively. Qatar's index added 0.5% as most stock rose, Kuwait edged up 0.3% and Muscat was nearly flat. That was it for now. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching and bye for now.